We are given a right angle triangle with a circle inscribed in it. The radius of the circle is 6 units. The height of the right angle triangle is 20 units. We are to find the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle labeled X. Solution. Now, let us label the triangle as A, B, and C. And let us also label the points where the circle touches the triangle. Here is P, here Q, and here S. And let the center of the circle be O. Now, OP is also the radius of this circle, and it is 6 units. Let me tell you about a theorem known as the tangent radius theorem. A tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangent. For that reason, OP is perpendicular to AB. OQ is perpendicular to BC. This is a right angle. This is a right angle. And this is a right angle too. So this angle here will also be a right angle. OQ equals to PB. So PB is 6 units. OP equals to 6 units. So BQ is also 6 units. AB equals to 20. BP equals to 6. So AP will be equals to AB minus BP. AP will be equals to 20 minus 6. That is 14. AP equals to 14 units. Let us also look at another theorem known as two tangent theorem. It states, if two tangents are drawn to a circle from the same external point, then the tangents are equal in length. Back to our diagram, A here is our external point. Line AP and AS are the two tangents line. AP will be equals to AS. AP equals to 14. So AS equals to 14 as well. For length CS, CS equals to AC minus AX. So AC is X. AS is 14. So CS will be equals to X minus 14. Here we are going to apply two tangent theorem at this point again in order to find length QC. This is our external point. CS equals to X minus 14. So QC will also be equal to X minus 14. So line BC equals to BQ plus QC. So BC equals to 6 plus X minus 14. BC equals to X minus 8. Now that we have found the three sides of this right angle triangle, let us apply Pythagoras theorem to solve for the value of X. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So in our triangle here, AC squared equals to AB squared plus BC squared. Now let us substitute in the values. X squared equals to 20 squared plus open bracket X minus 8 close bracket squared. So X squared will be equal to 400 plus X squared plus 64 minus 16X. X squared and X squared will cancel. 0 equals to 400 plus 64 minus 16X. And then we move 16X to this side of the equation. We have 16X equals to 464. We divide both sides by 16. We have X equals to 29. So the value of X in this question is 29 units. If you enjoyed the lesson, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.